Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the uh, 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update, and we're looking at the Dow down uh, 60 at 34,779. Uh, yeah, the nine-period moving average hasn't turned positive yet. It's trying, but it hasn't. Uh, this is not such bad action. It's been kind of sideways for four sessions. And I think it's just digesting the fact that yields have gone quite a bit higher. Crude oil is, is higher. Look at the S&P. The S&P is also down, but not, not by much, down 10 at 45.05. Uh, looking at the QQQ, also down a little bit. Uh, it's come back, actually. Now it's up 21 cents at 377.87. Holding quite well. The weekly charts are all pretty good. Looking at the IWM, that's the Russell 2000 sharp move down, down almost three at 187.90. Looking at gold, gold was down really sharply earlier on, trying to come back. Now it's down 14 at 19.52. Repelled at that 14 period, sorry, the 200 period exponential moving average. Silver is the same thing. Uh, quite a pullback. Um, we are looking at uh, silver at 24.09. Now, this is going to be important because the dollar, if it holds the gains that it had earlier on, it's up 51 ticks at 104.75. On the daily chart, it's a bit of a breakout. On the weekly chart, it's just making steady higher highs and higher lows, and that's kind of important. So it hasn't given anything up. If you look at the euro, that's down very sharply. Look at crude oil. Crude oil is trading up. $1.25 at 86.81. It's kind of been relentless in this cup formation breaking out. I could even start to call this a potential Chapman, Chapman wave, overlapping wave. Uh, let's see what happens by Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday. Meantime, back at the ranch, the TLT <clears throat> is down $1.14 at 93.71. This means yields are already going higher. So how the market handles it? I think it's going to handle it in a very mixed way with some stocks, especially the beaten down stocks, perhaps holding quite nicely and maybe looking at this week telling us that there's certain areas and we'll see if the XLP, which is the this is a traditional place to go to, the select consumer staples when the market gets very nervous, it's acting very poorly. So this, as I say, a mixed market does coming back a little bit. The day is young. We'll see what happens. I'll be back with Tom a little later on today. Meantime, have a great, uh, great uh, rest of the day, and uh, we'll see where the dark closes. It's going to be quite an important close over the next two days. <laughs>